So this beam of light effect was created by Eugene Shufdan, who was the cinematographer and visual effects artist for films like Metropolis, which has some of the best visual effects you'll ever see, done all in camera. That film's from 1926. The thing that we used was a projector, a one-way mirror, camera is aimed through that one-way mirror right here, and then we have our computer controlling the projection. And we angle it up like so, so it's catching the reflection off of our screen here, and we're simulating a beam of light. And as you can see through here, it's reflecting that. Let, let me move the camera this way so you can see it from the opposite angle. A mirror here, computer, projector going this way. It's letting light come through it. Uh, if it just masked me out in front, obviously that would be a dead giveaway that it's fake. But since it's a little, the opacity is about you know, 60% of letting light through, I think it helps sell the effect even more. And this technique worked a lot when you had a beam of light from like the ceiling going downward because you had the floor that was hitting that would sell the effect and the, if the light was positioned just right. This isn't the most ideal setup, but you know where the projector is and where the screen is, it works best for me. So hopefully you guys get a good idea how this effect works and how I achieved it. So what we're going to do here is create the illusion of a tunnel using a wall. And it's pretty simple. And I just made lines here and then little shadow etches of gaffer's tape to kind of give dimension to the, the tunnel. And we're gonna project different images in here, in here, 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 to create the illusion of a tunnel. And it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but it's pretty cool what you can create with this. So let's give it a shot. Let's go ahead and bring our, in on our image. And we're gonna go ahead, Apple Eye, bottom right, sphere with all these uh, highlights around it. And I wanna break this up into five different shots. So what I'm gonna be doing, as you see I slide it over here, I want a shot where the ball is in this frame the entire time. Let's go ahead and duplicate this, Apple D or Control D. And now I wanna to come to my preview area here and I'm trying to, for let's say this was our, we're gonna do the one directly below it. We're gonna do this one right here. We want to move this down and you see where the pattern ends right there. We wanna line it up like so, and then we need to bring these bottom two corners up because it's just capturing black. So I can Apple click these two circles, bring it up. Okay, now we got that there, but now we need to map this into the right position. So pretty much take this here for now, the bottom, top right and top left, and then bottom left, drag this all the way that angle there. Let's duplicate this bottom one here. And we're just gonna bring this up above this black circle and mimic that one from above. So since we got that, come back over here now. And this button kind of gets you to a full view frame. Oh, say it. So now let's drag this up, lock that in. Okay, then we're gonna bring this all the way to the top right, and this all the way up to the top left. Good here, so now let's make our walls on our left and right. Check out our preview area again, and we're gonna try to capture this area and this area. So what we can do here is duplicate that, Bring this over to about right there, and then bring this guy back in. Let's see where it ends. Okay, right on that edge. And now we gotta drag this guy over, and then take our corners here, and pull them to the spots we need them to go. 
Okay, so now let's grab, let's go back to our preview area here. And we're gonna grab our surface again. We're gonna duplicate it. And we're just gonna pull this over so it still matches up. Then take one of our corners here and pull it back over to where the frame ends. All right, there. I'm gonna turn a lot of the lights I have on off right now so we can get a little bit better detail of the tunnel here. So let's turn some of our lights off we had. There's one, there's two. Okay, so as you can see, we have our tunnel here. And what I can also do here is, the screen is, is, is pretty white and I think it may be a smidge too white, but let's take, highlight it real quick. Okay, you can't see this, but I'm going to crop that top right a little bit. I'm gonna to try to make a black border just to see if that adds a little bit of depth like another corridor. And let's just turn off this surface area, just see what happens. Back on. Okay. I'm gonna keep messing around with this and possibly come out with a few more tutorials if I feel the need to, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Talk to you soon, bye.